Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, drone pilot faces felony charges after flying over Raven Steelers game. Musk showcases airspace reform goals. And NASA issues RFP for Viper Moon Rover Partner. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Drone pilot faces felony charges after flying over Ravens Steelers game. A 43-year-old Baltimore man is up against felony charges for flying his unregistered drone over the Ravens Steelers playoff game on January 11th. Busting the stadium's flight restriction will land the drone's pilot up to three years in federal prison. Authorities noticed an unapproved and unidentified drone more than 400 feet above the stadium during the game's third quarter. It was seen as a security threat, leading officials to put the game on hold until safety was assured. After capturing several photographs from above, the drone exited the area and the game was able to resume. FBI special agents worked with Maryland State Police to track the drone back to 43-year-old Alexis Perez Suarez. Suarez told officials that while he had purchased the drone for recreational purposes, he had also been using it for his job. However, Suarez did not possess a remote pilot certificate, and the drone was never registered. Suarez broke another major aviation reg by flying through a temporary flight restriction without approval. The FAA had placed a TFR over a three-mile zone surrounding the stadium, effective from an hour before to an hour after the game. After the break, Boeing braces for layoffs as NASA rethinks its space contracts. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. Boeing braces for layoffs as NASA rethinks space contracts. In an uncomfortable all-hands meeting, Boeing was forced to tell its 800-plus Space Launch System program employees to brace for mass layoffs. The announcement came after officials hinted at a debate within NASA leadership about the future of several space programs. David Dutcher, vice president and program manager of Boeing's SLS rocket, took the stage in front of the program's approximately 800 employees on February 7th. His, quote, cold and scripted six-minute speech, as a listener described, indicated that Boeing's SLS contracts could come to an end in March if NASA chose not to renew them. Evolito and Flying Whales Enter Partnership Evolito, British developer of electric motors, announced a collaboration with Flying Whales, a company developing large-capacity airships. Evolito will provide its state-of-the-art D250 electric propulsion motor for the LCA-60T airship, due to make its first test flight in 2027. The LCA-60T airship is 200 meters long and designed to transport exceptionally heavy loads of up to 60 tons. Flying Whales Airship provides a unique solution for transporting heavy and oversized cargo, especially in areas with limited infrastructure. Evolito's advanced motors will help Flying Whales establish a more efficient and environmentally sustainable mode of transport. Oklahoma commences investment in AAM infrastructure. The Oklahoma Department of Aerospace and Aeronautics announced the execution of a contract with Vigilant Aerospace for the state's first investment in systems for managing airspace along with an automatic detect and avoid solution. These are intended to support advanced air mobility as well as long-range drone flights. Vigilant Aerospace will deploy the system for the Oklahoma Space Industry Development Authority with the vision of developing the state as a national proving ground for military and civilian drones to facilitate AAM operations including eVTOL air taxis and autonomous cargo aircraft. Wingcopter now offering long-range LiDAR survey solutions. German drone manufacturer Wingcopter announced the extension of its offerings beyond cargo drones to include long-range BB-LOS LiDAR surveying solutions by equipping its Wingcopter 198 product with laser scanning and camera systems to enable the efficient and rapid gathering of high-quality LiDAR data. 
The system will provide customers the opportunity to survey up to 37 miles of linear infrastructure in one mission, carrying a 10-pound sensor package. That's our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Musk showcases airspace reform goals. Elon Musk, SpaceX CEO and Secretary of President Trump's new Department of Government Efficiency, has pledged to make rapid safety upgrades to the U.S. air traffic control system. This comes just days after the most deadly plane crash in decades. Musk noted on social media, quote, With the support of President Trump, the team will aim to make rapid safety upgrades to the air traffic control system, end quote. For now, it's unclear exactly what these upgrades will be or what they are set to impact. It's also hard to tell how much power Musk and other employees have over the U.S. airspace system. However, one key point could be the notice to air mission system. Musk explained after NOTAMs went down on February 2nd, quote, just a few days ago, the FAA's primary aircraft safety notification system failed for several hours, end quote. The same type of outage caused a nationwide ground stop and impacted more than 11,000 flights in January 2023. The update will also hopefully address the extreme shortage of air traffic controllers and the painfully outdated equipment they are forced to use. Industry stakeholders have pushed to replace the nearly 50-year-old ATC. After these messages, NASA issues RFP for Viper Moon Rover Partner. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. NASA issues RFP for Viper Moon Rover Partner. NASA announced a request for proposals for a public-private partnership to land and operate its Volatiles Investigation Polar Exploration Rover Lunar Mission, a part of NASA's Artemis campaign to demonstrate the ability of U.S. industry to search for ice and collect science data on the moon. NASA's announcement for partnership proposals contains instructions and criteria it will use for evaluating a new lunar volatile science partnership. The deadline for submitting proposals is Thursday, February 20, 2025. Submissions will be evaluated and those selected will be required to submit a second, more detailed proposal. The agency will make a decision on Viper mission proposals in summer 2025. Nikki Fox, Associate Administrator in the Science Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters in Washington, said, quote, Moving forward with the Viper partnership offers NASA a unique opportunity to engage with the private sector. Such a partnership provides the opportunity for NASA to collect Viper science that could tell us more about water on the moon, while advancing commercial lunar landing capabilities and resource prospecting possibilities." End quote. Any partnership entered into would be conducted under a cooperative research and development agreement, allowing both NASA and its private sector partner to contribute technology, services, and hardware to the project. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.